friends, welcome to Kids Zone. Um, today we are talking about Joseph. So Joseph is the son of Jacob. Joseph had 11 brothers. Can you imagine having 11 brothers? So if you wanted to play, play like a soccer game or a basketball game, you will have enough people instantly to play the game. But his brothers weren't very nice to him. Um, so I don't think they played any games together. They were very jealous of Joseph because Joseph was his dad's favorite. And his dad made him this beautiful coat to tell him how much he loved him. And that made his brothers very um, mad. So, and then after the coat, Joseph had two like crazy, crazy dreams. And he told his brothers and their, his brothers were like, what? We are not going to bow down to you and like serve you. Um, they were very upset and mad um, at Joseph. So the story today you will um, listen to is like all about what happened um, with Joseph and his brothers. So first I want you to, before you start the story, like as you're grown up and you guys can think it through, like what are things that you might think is unfair. Um, I want you to think about that for a little bit. What, what might be unfair? So with Joseph, him getting the beautiful coat and his dad didn't give his brothers anything um, beautiful. Or something like, um, let's see. What else will be unfair? If your sibling gets a treat and you don't get a treat, for no apparent reason. That could be unfair. So I hope you learn from today's story that when people mess up and mean something for, for bad, God can turn it around and turn it into something good. So we will learn more about how God changed Joseph's life. So our craft today, you are going to need um, a coffee filter and washable markers. I've put the instructions in the lesson for you guys. I hope you guys have fun making the little coat. And then there is a journal page that I would love for you to complete. Think about things that you are thankful for. There are so many things we can be thankful for, especially this season of COVID, which has been super hard. We can be thankful for going back to school or we can be thankful for having food or beautiful parks around us. So many things to be thankful for. Our memory verse, I think you guys should know it by now. It's from 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 15 and it says, always try to do good for each other. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 15. We love you and we hope to see you Sunday at 10 o'clock. Hi KidZone. It was so fun to see a lot of you at our outdoor worship services last Sunday. This Sunday, we're gonna be meeting again at 10 a.m. outside on our lawn. Bring your masks, your chairs, or your blankets, whatever you wanna sit on, and bring your family and we'll see you there. Also, we still have room in our breakaway summer camp to sign up. It's going to be running July 19th to the 23rd at Walnut Park, Arroyo Park, and what's the third one? Slide Hill Park around town. We're also going to have an online component and Zoom small groups. Finally, parents, if you are a mom of a preschooler or younger, we need you. We have a group called MOPS, Mothers of Preschoolers, that has been meeting at UCC for many years, and we are looking for new leaders. If you are interested, in leading MOPS or being a part of the leadership team, please contact us. You can contact Coralie at Coralie at UCOV.com or go on our website for more information. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Bye. Hey Glacier, Josh here. I hope you're having a great week. This Sunday, April 25th, we're gonna have an in-person Sunday night Glacier from 5.30 to 7 at UCC. We can't wait to see you there. And also next weekend, May 2nd, we're gonna be having a sixth grade goodbye party because on Tuesday, May 4th, 
the sixth graders are moving into our junior high ministry edge. We can't wait for all of these fun events. It's going to be awesome. So we will see you at Glacier this weekend, Sunday, April 25th, and the following weekend, May 2nd. See ya.